Hey guys, welcome back to part two of our Morton Island adventure. If you haven't already watched the part one, that'll be out by now. Uh, go check that out to see what we got up to. Otherwise, stick with us. We'll show you around the second half of our trip. We've still got plenty of fun activities to attend to. So yeah, stay with us and we'll show you what we get up to. <laughs> check it out yesterday but we're going to head back there this morning and get the sups out and I'll throw the drone, drone up for you guys and show you around Blue Lagoon a little bit. So I'll set that up and by the time I walk back to the lake I reckon everyone will be back from their subs and we'll go chill out and see what they're up to. So we just finished up at the Blue Lagoon and we've just packed everything away and now we're heading a little bit further north up to Champagne Pools which is right near, so it's on North Point. So yeah, we're gonna head up to the, the Cape of Morton, find these champagne pools, and I'm pretty keen to wet a line, so hopefully we can find some sheltered water and and yeah, do a little bit of fishing as well. We've got the crew behind us. Just got a few of the tour trucks driving past. They, Got all their people in it exploring the island. They love to wave back. All right, we're trying to find champagne pools and we can't. Champagne bubbles. So if I've been calling it champagne pools this whole time, I meant champagne bubbles. But anyway, where are the bubbles? We don't know where champagne bubbles are. So we'll keep driving, see if we can find them. Otherwise, maybe you can tell us where the bubbles are. All right, so we haven't found champagne pools or bubbles yet. The real question is, what is it actually called? Champagne bubbles or champagne pools? Leave it in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably turtles down there. Billy has successfully made our pies. Thank you, Billy boy. 
We ended up coming over to the western side of the tip here of Morton. Uh, so this is called North Point. Champagne bubbles or pools, whatever it is, is around the corner here. Um, I just grabbed a fishing rod and we're gonna cast out into the surf here. Pretty rough around here. I'm just gonna keep walking around until I find a nice spot. We're just walking off the headland at North Point here on the northernmost western side of Morton. Uh, we found champagne bubbles, we checked that out. I uh, went for a fish off the rocks and lost a really nice lure. That's about it, no fish. Yeah, we're going to probably head back to camp. It's our turn to cook dinner tonight. So we'll get that on the go and maybe go check out the wrecks again for the afternoon. We'll see what happens. We've still got a few more nights here. back at camp and it's our turn to cook dinner tonight so we're going to set up i'm going to set up billy's awning get a bit of a kitchen going um we got to cook we're doing a slow cooked pulled pork in the camp oven so i'll go get the fire going now and we'll get this started so it's ready for later oh you're already getting that going timmy timmy's gonna go jump in in there with his sup board where we saw a hammerhead shark two days ago and he's gonna try to get us some fish we just set up Billy with the, set up the big awning and we're getting our kitchen tidied up, doing a little bit of housekeeping. Hmm. Chelsea's keeping it tidy. She's gonna get the pulled pork prepped. I'm gonna get the fire going, so I've been given a flint. I'll get it started with the flint. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna be doing slow cooked pulled pork. This is Harry from Fire to Forks recipe. But yeah, I'll go get some wood to get this fire started. So we need some real dry, sort of shaley stuff to add some kindling or some fire starter, so I'm getting that now.
I've got all my wood ready to go. And I got the flint, so we'll get this fire started. Yeah, <laughs> that was easy. Yeah. All right, we got this fire going. I'll let that burn down to some coals and probably another half an hour, hour's time and we'll we'll have the, the pot, the camp pot prepped and ready and we'll put it on top. So this is all you got. <laughs> Oh, it's been a few hours, we're just going to go check on the pork. You be careful not to drop any of this in it. Ah, oh, lovely. Needs a bit more heat, but that's good. Ready, Johnny? I'm gonna start on the fire and pan to you. I need a beer. I need to drink my beer. Uh, Before or after? Or yeah. during? Do I need to turn my um, torch off, Jackie? Ah, uh, let me hold your torch. When you're ready, and it, I'll do like a little intro, and then you just bring it in and like show them this. All right, ready? Yeah, easy. No, it's fine. 10k, you can see me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Alright. Like a right. flash, like a no, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> the umbrella light thing. Alright, so we've had this pulled pork sitting in the camp oven for probably a good four hours by now. Everyone's getting a little bit peckish, but come over here, look, we've got it done. Look at it. Cooked to perfection.
Hey guys, welcome back to another day on Morton Island. So this is day four of our trip so far and we've just uh, woke up and had some brekkie and we're heading south this time around. So we're, yeah, we're on our way down, down south, south end of the island. Uh, it's pretty high tide at the moment. I'll show you in front of us. So it's, yeah, it's fairly high tide at the moment. So we're just putting along taking our time up here on the, the softer stuff and trying to avoid as much salt water as possible. And yeah, we're gonna go all the way down south. There's apparently a place where you can buy oysters and fresh seafood. So we're gonna go check that out. And then as we turn around and come back up to camp, uh, we'll stop off at the Tangaluma Rex again and just see where the day takes us. So we're still on our way south down to the, the start of the island. Um, we've just pulled over, there's some public toilets over here on the side of this little inland track. Just parked Billy up on the side here for now and wow, look at all this water, it's so nice here on this side. There's like absolutely no swell, it's like flat as a pancake, nice turquoise blue and you can see the shipwrecks over in the background. I don't know if you can see them, but they're up the back there. So we'll head all the way past those and further south to get to the spot we're trying to go to. We made it onto the eastern side now. We're sitting on Jason Beach at the moment, according to the HEMA. So we'll show you guys around this place. Obviously we're on the eastern side now, so there's a lot more surf. And it's still fairly high tide, so we're still, um, still sort of sitting up on the soft stuff for now so yeah we'll just keep cruising until we get to our spot where we want to go find but i uh, talking about it now compared to fraser um compared to fraser island or kagari it morton island if you want to come check this place out just purely because it's so much smaller than Fraser, everywhere is so much more accessible. Like you can spend the day and just go around the whole of Morton and cover pretty much every single spot if you wanted to. Compared to Fraser, you just um you spend so much more time driving around to get everywhere. So yeah, we're really loving it so far. We just picked up some oysters from the local oyster farm, Morton Bay Oysters. Are they my calamari? No. Oh, didn't you get calamari and chips? I got calamari, calamari and chips. We got calamari on the side of our... Yeah. Mm. First fresh. oyster for Johnny Boy. First oyster, so I've been told I've got to detach it from the shell. <laughs> Come on. And then... Mm. Oh, yum! That was, so, that was so good. I wasn't sure if that was a yuck or a yum. Yum. Well. <laughs>
um, like puffish. Huh. Like parrots. Yeah. Like literally like a school, what, fair mother? Yeah. Huh. Like probably what, 30, 40 other things. Alright guys, we gotta wrap the video up for the part two of our Morton Island trip. We're just starting to head back to shore now we're after snorkeling those wrecks at Tangaluma. And we're going back tomorrow anyway, so we'll wrap it up now. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed following our trip here. This place is absolutely incredible. Um, we're really glad we checked it out. Oh, it's just so amazing here. Anyway guys, we'll see you on the next one. Woohoohoo!